Hey guys, come on from Nokia Views and we have a great news for the Windows 10 mobile users in particular. The VLC 2.0 has been released and it is looking awesome. It has this really nice dark theme for those who are living in the cave and if you prefer white theme, you have that option as well. Um, it's a very nice uh, application. This is 2.0 and it supports uh, a lot of, lot of formats just like the classic VLC. Uh, but now it has that nice uh, media library, um, you know, which has uh, two parts, video, audio, video and music. And you can also browse your files on your network. It has a uh, lifestyle integration. So if you have, let's say, a song playing and if you have a song playing and you uh, go back to start, you have, and you have, and if you have played in lifestyle, you can see uh, it in action it's showing the name of the file that is being played or so uh, along with its uh, file name you will see that in a moment there you go tap on that in your back uh, you can again start playing with the song whatever you want to do um, yeah, the only thing I think it's missing is a DVD Blu-ray playback, but that is because the uh, there is no API for it. Uh, the, the Windows Store APIs don't allow the developers to do that. And uh, it has live car live uh, tile integration, as I already mentioned. The Cortana is supported. You can search your file by just telling Cortana to play a particular file. And big big news for the 950 users. Uh, it supports Continuum cannot uh, demonstrate that on this Lumia 430 obviously but yeah it's there and it supports subtitles so just make sure you have a subtitle file uploaded along with the with your movie and you'll you'll be good to go and it's a pretty good audio player as well I mean I tried uh, you know <laughs> I tried to pilot it songs and just work fine pick their album out as well without a problem so go ahead, download it from the App Store. It, even if, if it's in beta, it's working just without a problem. Uh, so give it a go and let me know if you like it or not. Uh, you can find it download link in the comment section in the description box, not in the comment section. Uh, that's it, guys. Bye bye.